Capricorns, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes, here to give you end of July 2020. Excuse me. Uh, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians. Pick a node. It doesn't matter to me, my loves. Cross watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now, please do not curse me in the comments. Love you. Everything is pre-shuffled and upright. Oracles are preset. I will read it reverse. If it comes out on the clarifier, I do not read from the floor. Uh, caps. Caps, 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 caps. Capricorns. Guys, listen. There's a storm coming. Okay? Um, you might be in it. You might be in the beginning of it right now. Whew. And it's a big one. But um, it's going to be fast. Okay, excuse me for one second. Let me just take a sip. Okay. Um, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'd love to have you. We always start with our pukas. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, you're at the precipice of a crossroad right now, Caps. All right, decisions are uh, being made, and there's the storm. We're jumping literally right into this tower. This tower right here is a mother lover, okay? I'm not gonna uh, kid you, it's a mother lover. And you're facing it because you know you have to. You, there's no way around it, you understand? There is no way uh, absolutely around it. It involves your friends and family, um, all aspects of, of your relationships right now. It's not something that you absolutely want to deal with, um, something that's weighing heavily on your mind right now with this Four of Swords, but it is required to bring back balance into your life. You understand? I believe that there is a Libra Taurus uh, energy, somebody intuitive around you, okay? Um, possibly that you're considering working with or... Um, hmm. getting guidings from or that actually you don't like I, i'm not gonna lie okay you just don't like period all right um this is a defensive energy the seven of wands you know almost as if like i feel like you're standing your ground on this earth energy here i'm gonna get back to libra taurus i just wanted to bring that to your attention because you'll see later on in the pukas um the you're defending your territory defending your integrity defending your ideas defending your stance um with this king of pentacles energy or this is you being stuck in your head right now trying to figure out um how to handle this offer now there is an offer on the table divine offer something uh a thought of moving or uh, maybe a big purchase um or you have a, a nice settlement coming in and it's a lump now, i mean a lump 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 okay capricorns that are getting financially blessed or even blessed in any way excuse me uh kudos to you absolutely this thing here this Knight of Wands energy is so flighty, it's ridiculous, okay? I mean, and I know that normally the Knight of Wands gets a bad rap for not being consistent, but in this energy right now, this is like, OMG. It's almost like it's so light and flighty that I can't even, I, I like I almost can't fill the card. That's how it feels, you understand? Leo Tour, uh, sorry, Leo Aries Sagittarian energy here. Um, but it uh, looks like uh, somebody is either manifesting you or uh, this is you manifesting um, completion, uh, manifesting happiness. And it seems like it's moving too slow. Like, you know, like you can't, you know, get it going. Okay. But the chariot helps that uh, Knight of Pentacles pick up the pace a little bit. Because, you know, I call the Knight of Pentacles the turtle with uh, hemorrhoids. Because that's how slow they are. Like, literally. It's a very slow energy. But the chariot helps things along Cancerian energy um, to reset the grounding, reset the basis, reset the family structure. You know, there will be some unions. It looks like you're going to be healing some um, areas of... Uh, 
relationships, which uh, uh, this is where I felt that empress. Okay. Um, I think that you're going to reconnect with some people that maybe you had tossed to the side in the past because of this tower. Overall, um, you're feeling good, you know, as far as your stability, as far as your intuition, as far as your stance. Um, it's just, you know, your perspective about yourself, it seems to be well. It's your perspective of others that you're finding uh, very, very, very... Um, they don't fit the bill. You understand? It's a very, very small, small, small offer. Um, almost as if you're looking at the situation like you took a leap of faith into the abyss because you wanted to know what was behind the moon. And I say that because um, I know that a lot of you have a, a younger energy around you, but it felt good. So you wanted to try it, you know? And some of you have regrets at this point, you know. There's some shoulda, woulda, couldas uh, happening right now about the union that you felt uh, was for you because you guys were so um, connected. And it was uh, a definite connection with this Two of Cups. This is a like-minded energy. You know, it's a, a magnetic attraction, yin and yang, you know, if you want to say something like that. And that offer, you know, did feel good, but it seems like now you're going within a, and thinking about how significant the emotions, um, the offer that's being made or received at this time, or just the relationship as a whole, your connections as a whole going within. And it's been a battle. It's been a fight. Um, trying to get your point across. It's been a fight trying to get your needs met. It's been a fight trying to get understood. You understand of what you want um, from this person that has this divine connection. You understand? So judgment is being called here. Um, you are calling judgment. Somebody has to because you feel like this is not right. This is not what you wanted. This is not what you were taught, how you were raised, what you foresaw as being um, a healthy situation or healthy relationship. And right now you feel backstabbed and betrayed. So you're juggling about this home life and this home situation with this four of wands here um, and about maybe a, a love offer or a, a offer of emotions because you feel like this person really does have love. It's just everything else that's the problem. So how do you choose between love and yourself, you know, do you walk away or do you accept the offer because you feel like it's significant? You understand what I'm saying? But the wheel turns. This is divine intervention. So while you're stuck at that crossroads, and remember, your very first card is the crossroads. You keep running and you didn't have two of pentacles, two of, you started out with two of wands, now we're at two of swords. Well, it's time for God to get involved and get this wheel turning because you keep getting stuck at this crossroads. You understand? So divine intervention steps in to uh, turn um, some karma, some some dharma, you know, things are coming to the surface. Um, and, you know, it, that's a burden, it, but it is enlightening. It's a burden, but it's enlightening, you know. I mean, you don't want to have to deal with it, but you know what? You're going to be glad that you now are in moving towards peace, moving towards tranquility with this water over here and moving towards the mother loving boom stick. Oh, there you go right there, baby. Ain't nothing like that. See, that's a beautiful boat ride. When you move into the boom stick, that's a beautiful boat ride. But this is a passionate, creative, brand new beginning. You know, lots and lots and lots of new, 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 new job, new house, new car, new, 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 new relationship, whatever it is that you're blessed with. This energy uh, has the ability to bring it forth, but what comes with it is now fairness and equality and balance. And that is what you want, possibly from this King of Wands. Now, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy is all of those things, passionate, driven, focused, and intuitive. But keep in mind, even though he's marriage material, he doesn't mind running his kingdom alone. And nine times out of 10, he does come with a full plate. But you cut that right out. You say, I 
I don't want to hear it. You cut the truth. There's no more options. I am mother loving Capricorn. You don't even understand what you messing with right now. I am the full plate. I hear you caps. I, I When I heard that, I said, oh baby, look at that. <laughs> Look at that communication of truth, clarity, understanding, and illumination. I know that's right. Strength will drive determination to endure, okay? To endure the storm, endure the pain. Keep fighting because you know what you're fighting for, and that's justice. Libra energy here. That's balance. That's equality. It don't matter what they're saying, what they're coming back and talking about, who's in your business, or how young or how old they are. Right now, you treated them like an equal. You tried to help them, and this is what they did. They backstabbed and betrayed you. To, they broke your heart. You understand what I'm saying? Lied, you know, stole, cheated, whatever the case was, You, it was time wasted. And that's why you're feeling like you've been stressing out, trying to figure out what happened to all my fruit because I'm putting in the work. And, you know, it, it, this is just uh, not working. So basically, you know, with this Queen of Swords energy, you're like, look, the bottom line is this. I want the truth. I'm speaking the truth. I'm, I'm, uh, I want to, I'm accepting only the truth and nothing more because you know what you give. You know, you will give loyalty, you give honor, you give respect, you give nurturing, um, all of these things. Okay. But now you, yeah, you spew, <laughs> talking about it uh, with the star energy right behind it. This is wish fulfillment right here. All right. Dreams coming to balance coming to uh, the situation. Let's get out these pukas. I've been here for a minute. Whew. But caps, it looks like it's going to be a rough ride. A lot of indecision, but necessary. Let's talk about the oracles. Uh, Sacred Rebel has seen the true you. Okay. Now, understand that the situation is this. She is on a sofa in a lake. I'm just saying, out of place, number one. So you might be feeling out of place right now, trying to get your footing, trying to get your grounding, trying to understand how you even got here in the first place and trying to find yourself at the same time. She is trying to find uh, the reflection in the water or understand why it looks the way it does, but all she got to do is move her hand. You understand? Sometimes we are in our own way. Sometimes you have to let things be and let God be God. All right. Under that uh, deck at the bottom of the deck was after the storm, because the storm is coming or it's in the, you're in the middle or you sense it like you feel it. You feel it like you feel the energy. Just strap your boots and get and prepare. All right. Get, uh, you know, just as if you were preparing for a storm, you protect your home, protect your things. Do the same thing. Uh, pray, meditate, uh, ask for uh, covering, extra assistance, you know, traveling, mercy, things like that. Because the storm is actually coming. But understand that after the storm, the sun shines again. After the storm, clarity is in play. You see things clearly because it's going to move some things around a bit. And things that were hidden will no longer be. King of mother, love, and fire. Uh, King of Wands in the regular tarot deck for the dreams of Gaia. Beautiful energy. This is taking charge, living large and taking charge. Big boy. <laughs> A wonderful, wonderful fiery spirit here. Um, and we just talked about the King of Wands with that passion, that drive, that focus. Uh, intuition and clarity. Um, very, very uh, forceful with movement. Uh, marriage material, but don't mind being single. And Caps, if that's where you find yourself right now, own it and move in it. You understand? Don't stay here, okay? Deal with the storm. Get out of your own way and try your best not to stay with... Oh, I didn't even know that was there. Um, with the shoulda, woulda, couldas. This is the five of water equivalent to um, the five of cups. And it basically uh, is the same thing. The shoulda, woulda, couldas. This is regret. This is shame. Um, looking back. Looking back over the years. I guess I shedded some tears. Boom, boom, boom. 
Look at that. Ace of Wands right there. Ace of Fire. Okay. Brand new passionate beginning. A new start. A fresh start being gifted to you. It's in place. But look at the conflict right under it. You understand? This is going to be a battle. This is a battle. Bad. This is Five of Wands right here. Five of uh, Fire. This is a battle. All right. There's some kind of fight coming. An argument. Um, a disagreement of some sorts, but it, for some reason, it is going to shake the foundation of everything, or it's going to clear a lot of things up. I'm using the fountain to clarify. Crown this energy for Capricorns, please. Crown this energy, please, for Capricorns. Crown this energy, please. Thank you. Two of Cups. See, you, 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 you're tapping into these twos because of this crossroads right now. Um, two of Cups, you know, is emotion. All right. Uh, tell me about the Two of Cups. Thank you. Eight of Wands. It's going to happen fast. This is a divine movement in your life right now. This fight. Wow. Nine of Swords. And it's going to stress you out. It's going to it's going to hit you deep. What's up with the Nine of Swords? Tell me more about this crowning energy, please. Forgive me, guys. You know this is a thick deck. Thank you. Yep. Eight of Cups. Walking away. W moving towards peace. Moving towards better. What um, my question was going to be, what brought this on? And the Wheel of Fortune shows up for past energy. Uh, tell me about the Wheel of... Thank you. Eight of Swords. Stress, temperance, Sagittarian energy. Is this two cards? Oh, they're so thick. What do I feel like, too? All right. Um, it looks like it. Uh, divine intervention with this Wheel of Fortune and Temperance, Major Arcana here, um, to, to bring you. Wow. Seven of Cups, Nine of Cups. Yeah, to bring you to uh, understanding of what you really wanted and not really falling for the illusion. You understand what I'm saying? To, to bring that healing, to bring that balance, to bring to the surface the past even, which may be a little stressful, but it's telling you uh, this this Wheel of Fortune, when I say it, um, is uh, bringing to light what exactly that you really are in search of um, instead of, and, and not the illusion of it. You understand what I'm saying? What's undermining this energy? What's undermining the process? Tell me more. What's undermining? Thank you. The Hermit Reverse. Ooh. Now, this is the lack of respect of the journey. What's up with the Hermit Reverse? Hermit, thank you. Ace of Coin and the Fool. Yeah, you took a chance. Or well, somebody took a chance. This, uh... But somebody took a chance because they felt like they was uh, getting something, getting a gift. But they didn't respect the journey. You understand? They didn't know the work that it, that it took to get it. They didn't understand, you know, it didn't fall from the sky. You know, work was put in. You understand what I'm saying? In caps, I think this is you. That's not, not you did this, but somebody did this to you. And it's just like really in realization, like they think things is sweet and it's not. They think you're sweet and you're not. You just were really trying to calm down and live righteous and live, you know, in peace and live in love. But under, they don't know they messing with fire. You understand me? For real. And, you know, the fact that it, uh, it, the realization that somebody is really seeing you as some kind of meal ticket or money ticket is hurtful, you know, because even if they came in like that, you thought that they would have learned and that y'all were better than that now. So you started building emotions and now realizing that you might have to walk away from this whole thing. Give me some future in it. Thank you. Strength reverse. Doubt. Fear. Tell me more. 
Page of Cups reverse. Lack of sincerity. Tell me more. Is this upright? Yeah, it is. The star is upright. Here's divine intervention with this uh, wish fulfillment. Thank you. With the queen of coins. You get yourself back. You're going to get your mojo back. It's just, you. you it's going to take you through. You. This doubt, fear, and confusion. Same thing here. Same thing here. Same thing here. Because you're, 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 you're going to feel used. And I'm not going to lie. That's what I'm looking at. You're going to feel used. You're going to feel like you wasted your time. You had a plan of action. It didn't fall. It, it, you know, it didn't work. Life goes on. Okay. God got your back. Know that um, you've been praying and your prayers have been answered. And this is the way you're being answered. God is going to send a storm and swipe this mess right out of your life. And you'll be able to begin anew. In this Queen of uh, Coins energy, your energy, which is grounded and nurturing and something loving, okay, and appreciative and loyal, all right? You deserve that. So definitely go through the storm, endure, all right, and know that tomorrow brings the sun, okay? What's under the deck? Seven of Swords, yeah, deceit. Deceit, deceit, deceit behind that damn moon. See, um, you you took a leap of faith, or somebody took a leap of faith on this moon. And this moon was a, it was a big moon, so it hid a lot of things. It hid a lot of things. Even though you saw what you saw, you didn't know it was so much uh, that came with it. So yeah, you put some work in and everything, and yeah, they got a tower with all these damn emotions and the ten of wands. Look at that burden. Five of Cups, regret. Intuition is definitely up. Holding back. Trying to make an offer and under because you're trying to understand where they stand. And they're gonna water over. Somebody you really love. But right after the water over, moving into a fountain. This is a a, a portal. <sighs> like a dimensional portal, a spiritual portal that catapults you right out of that storm into that queen of coins guys it's going to happen all right i'm gonna need you to be strong hold on all right strap your boots all right tie tie down the kids so they don't blow away <laughs> And know that, you know, God is still God, you know, and this is how Mother Nature cleans stuff up. She wreak havoc. All right. Final messages for Caps, please. Final messages for Capricorn. Thank you. Final messages for Capricorn, please. End of July. Final messages. Thank you for Capricorn, please. End of July. Final messages. Oh. What do you want? Okay. Last one. Final messages. All right. All right, my darlings. We have... Don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky lying bastards. Why? Because an idle mind is the devil's playground. Don't be sitting sulking, all right? Looking at the water with the shoulda, woulda, couldas. These are the shoulda, woulda, couldas, all right? Find something to do. Keep yourself busy. Keep yourself active until the storm passes, all right? Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some effing time alone, and you know why. I'm telling you, that Libra just came back. Is a Libra, Taurian energy... I don't like it. Just be mindful of that. It's just, I don't like it. I'm not sure about their intentions, okay? Just be careful. Uh-oh, you being shady, baby? <laughs> watch out. It could get ugly, you know, and the storm is coming, so watch your mouth. You caps, you know how you are. Y'all, 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 <laughs> real quick with that mouth. You need a good effing cry, caps. It's okay. All right, get that ugly cry on. Let that ish go. Your soul will thank you. Last card, get over yourself. 
pull your ish together. This is the last card, and this hopefully will hold you at the end of the storm. Help people give back, do good ish for humanity. Same thing I was saying. Keep yourself busy. Get active, all right? Push through this. Let God deal with this situation. In the mean and in between time, you just try to keep yourself active and stay out of your head, okay? Caps, I truly enjoyed sharing this with you. I hope it resonated for you. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment if you'd like. Um, if it doesn't resonate, check your moon and rising. Do not take this energy with you. Leave it here for someone else. Guys, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time.